Hello everyone. So in this short video, I want to talk about interactive images, so to say. Um, how can we create images that are placed on the web somewhere and that provide essentially a link to uh, additional resources? Um, so th the whole idea uh, and the nece necessity came up um, in, a, in a project um, which is the art of collaboration, um, which is a, sh a sharing festival in uh, in San Sebastian in, in Spain in June 2016. And so we created this landing page and at one point um, in on the landing page, we added this image, which is basically a, a scheme for different options to obtain a ticket. And um, we faced the need that we wanted to link different places of this image, different sort of sections of this image to different additional resources. So the, the big question was how? I mean, how can we put an image online on a website and link certain, pay, certain sections of that image to different um, resources. So of course there's, um, for those of you who are familiar with HTML and, and these sorts of web technologies, there's something which is called image map. Um, so it basically allows you to slice an image into different you know, sections and then um, provide different attributes and links for these different sections. However, the problem that we faced was that um, on, on this platform that we're using, which is Venturing, um, these image maps did not work well enough. Uh, we had no access to the um, wider HTML code, so we could, for example, not use J jQuery plugins. And th the, the biggest disadvantage of image maps, um, the default image maps, is that it's not responsive. So if you view it on a different um, device, for example, mobile device, it would not um, properly scale. So I, I digged into the, the, the whole problem and, and tried to find some, some services that might provide a solution. And the one I found was is something called easel.ly, which is basically um, an online service to create very appealing infographics. But what I found is that you can actually also use it, use it to you know create images that provide links to different sections. So how does that work? So as you can see, this image is actually an easel image which is embedded through an iframe. And if I now, for example, click on this section which is labeled co-learning, it will bring me to a specific URL that I have defined. If I, however, click on, for example, for learning or full collaboratory on this box, then it will bring me to a different page. So it's two different distinct links. And as you might see in the in this video, although I'm not, I'm not sure if you can um, clearly see it due to the quality of the video, but there is some box shape uh, slightly visible um, for the different sections. Um, so what I did technically was I went on easel on this you know, platform, easel ly, created um, a visual and this visual, in this visual, I first edit, I uploaded an image. I think this can be done by upload. And then you, you know, you choose an image to upload. So that's what I did in the first place. And then I used the shape options and looked for the rectangle. Where is it? Here, the rect, no, where's rectangle? It might come up here on page three. Yes, the rectangles. I selected the rectangle shape and added this to the image as an overlay. And as you can see, you know, it's basically just a normal rectangle, but um, with completely um, zero opacity. And now comes the cool thing here. Each shape can take an hyperlink as an attribute. So what you can do is you add your you add your box, you know, you, you, 
position it properly so that it reflects the section of your image that you want to link, you click on hyperlink and it allows you to place a link here. That's cool. Huh? And that's exactly what I did, you know, to cover all the areas. As you can see, I was a bit lazy and some of them were not properly placed. This one is a bit too small, for example. Um, this one is, oops, <laughs> somewhere totally random, randomly placed. So this is very, very useful to add the links. However, now, now comes my request also to, to uh, you easel developers, please. As you can see on, you know, on the live version, on the embedded version, although the links do work, I mean, you can see it um, in the bottom left by the changing links, you know, they do work, but the user, if he encounters this image, this embed, mm, it's not very intuitive. That's at least the feedback we got. It's not very intuitive to realize that this is an interactive image. So there's two possibilities here. The, the user is presented with a mouse over um, highlight, for example, displaying the link. So if I, you know, if I hover over the section that is actually linkified, I would get um, a visual mouse over pop up, for example, or um, yeah, a bubble basically presenting the link. Or another alternative would be that if I mouse over a section that contains such a box shape, then change the opacity. So change, for example, the opacity from zero to 50%, because that will also give the user a feedback that something can be done with that particular section of that image, that it's an interactive image. So please ESO developers, as you can see this, your platform is a really, really good and innovative um, solution to create an interactive clickable image graphics. And um, the only real thing that is missing is just this feedback for the user um, that he receives a feedback about clickable elements in the graphics. That's all I wanted to share for now. And um, looking forward to a conversation and maybe and hopefully a solution. Thank you.